Okay, I send you to university and this. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, chat. Honestly. Can you, mom, can you not in front of all my friends, please? All my internet friends, mom, please? I'm, I'm leaving. Mom, not in front of all the people on the internet, please? <laughs> mom? <laughs> Mom, not in front of all the people on the internet, please. <laughs> they all think I'm. They all think I'm really cool. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> they all think you're really cool. They do. They all think I'm really cool, and they look up to me. <laughs> Have you seen what you look? <laughs> you know. Stop. Stop laughing at me. I'm not la I'm laughing with you because I think you're wonderful. And I am so proud. Thank of you. Me. You're proud of me, yeah? Because <laughs> I miss you. Miss us. Producers, and they were just talking about this new movement. Um, we saw comic book movies. Yeah. Everything with Marvel. Do you think anyone could be Forsen's body? You could start seeing some more video game movies. So. Yeah, right. That's what we were talking You're about earlier. Better off investing in Bitcoin than VR. I'm allowed to be excited for this movie. I was asking over there, right? And I asked that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Borderlands announcement because you have so. Eli Roth on, right? You have Kate Blanchett. <laughs> you have Jamie Lee Curtis. You have Jamie. The list goes on. Black Jack. You know, we at the very end there. Kevin Hart, and it's like. That's a stellar cast, and again, those silhouettes they've shown for us look so spot on to what you'd expect these characters to be that I do wonder, yeah, if this is the one where we turn the corner, similar we're talking about turning the corner with comic book movies, if this will be the one for video games. Even I didn't though even I know, know they were doing Pikachu, a movie. I'm not Mortal throwing shade. Movie. I'm not throwing Pikachu shade. I'm I just was completely out of the loop. one that's very straight up, like this is what the video game world looks like on the silver screen. Is that Oh, shit. Dude! No! Heal! 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 Dude, he gives people who fucking scream heal do not understand. In that fucking fight, there is literally no opportunity to heal. <laughs> There is no opportunity to heal. The only time you can heal there <laughs> is if I. The only time. Where are the guns, man? What is this? Where are the guns? I... Where are the guns? Where's the swords, man? Hey, Jax. Meet the Nezu Tribe and unravel Come secrets on. when Tasumachi releases on consoles in 2021. All right, next one's got to be good. It's got to be lit, dude. Next game's going to be lit. Come on, give me some badass shit. I like running around as a fox. Nature's better Fuck! than your fox. No one reminds me of TT, so I put him in there. Um, uh, Jace, he's okay. Pike, he's bald. It reminds me of TT, so I put him in there. Um, why'd I put Rengar here? I mean, he's kind of hot for a wolf. It, it kind of reminds me of Teen Wolf. So I, I want to get involved in that somehow. And then, I'm not watching then this. And Tom Kench, you know, if this is an obvious, um, the tongue. I'm not, what is she talking about, bro? Dude, I'm going to put on this bad boy right here because this shit's fucking nice. Can I have your necklace? Get a job. Get a job. You literally sleep on the couch all day, do absolutely fucking nothing, and watch Futurama. Get a job. I'm done with it. I'm done. No, don't even get. Don't look at me. Don't touch me. Look at me. Fuck with me. Yeah. Get out of here. I'm done with it. I'm done. Yes. I'm done, okay? If we want to talk about moving past this, remember the fucking clip about Casey Tron's Reddit history talking about destiny. Page after page after page of her talking about destiny, talking about moving on. Give me a fucking break. Give me a fucking break, man. I'm not about it. 
And so, yeah, it's it's disappointing, man. It really is. Stop talking about it. Ignore the haters. Fuck that. I'm not going to just ignore people that are making shit up about me. Of course I'm going to get out my side of things. Why should I just let people make bullshit up about me, man? That's the worst perspective to have that you could ever imagine. I'm not going to just sit around and be a punching bag because I think that I'm above it all. Because I'm not. I'm in it. I'm reading the same shit that you guys are. I'm in the same fucking community that you guys are. And I don't want to deal with that because it's not fucking true. And I've sent my, I've sat here and I've defended a lot of fucking people that people have gotten really somewhere together. So I have a feeling that Alex's ex just stole her date, Dude, who we introduced from each together. other. They're going to pride together. But I told Alex what she should do, which is have a polyamorous relationship. Oh my god! And <laughs> they can all just have fun together, which in the end is a win-win because it's actually much much less committal and she doesn't have to deal with one of them having feelings and one of them getting upset if they all just love each other together Why does this always happen to me so but Why does this always for all we to know me? alex could have turned them both gay we don't know but that is alex's latest dating story um her we introduced her date to her ex and now they're going to pride together so yeah just only alex could accomplish some such things chat <laughs> driving men into the rest and <laughs> the tremendous success of Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, what the, fuck the entire was that? team was moved by the amazing reception from players across Yo. the world. We were stunned by the love we felt for this unexpected team up. What did they we know do we've that? been off the radar for a while now. I am sick of seeing small streamers living in the shadow of big streamers. You know, I know plenty of small streamers thinking that they can't do the content big streamers do because they don't have the audience. I'm going to prove you wrong. So today I'm doing my first ever unban appeal stream. Okay, let's begin. First, but not least, I got my unban appeal, okay? We got Kuroko's Ninja. He said, black guy, lol. You're a black boy. Try hard, try hard, try hard. Okay, his reasoning was my bad from Italy. You know, clearly he has the people of Italy on his back. Uh, you know, it has to be an unban. So thank you for coming to my unban appeal. Uh, I'll see you guys in another 10 months. All right, that's it. Welcome, everybody. We are the Draft Force. I am the Loaf Master. <laughs> I'm diversity hire. I thought that was me. Oh well, we're here to draft, we're here to analyze, we're here to panel, we're here to look at game two, LGD versus T1. Yes, it's Effie and it's Jenkins, but you can refer to them as these more colloquially referred to names, the code names, the draft force. God, we have the worst bits. <laughs> they have like a little talk. He's vibing now. We're happy. This is where the date's going well. You and I are feeling good. It started off bad because, the, and then Zerka, and then. Holy shit, dude. Look. Is that the shirt that. It's the same shirt. Did you steal his shirt? He gave it to me. <laughs> 